and a very happy Christmas to everyone. Now, the church officially instituted the Feast of Christmas in 336 AD, shortly after the Edict of Constantine, which pledged freedom for the Catholic religion throughout the Empire. In ancient times, long before the arrival of Christianity, pagan Rome celebrated a yearly event on the 25th of December, known as the Festival of the Invincible Sun. Now, according to their calculations, this was the time of the winter solstice. The sun appeared at its weakest, but after that day it began to recover. Hence the name Invincible Sun. Now, as in other instances, the Catholic Church infused this festival with a Christian significance. Christ is indeed the Invincible Son of God, who by his coming into the world has dispelled the darkness of sin and death. St. Augustine, in the 5th century, he puts it like this. We would have suffered eternal death had Christ not been born in time. We would have been lost if he had not hastened to our aid. We would have perished had he not come. I tell you again, for our sake, God became man. End of quote. God became man so that mankind should share forever in the life of God. That is our destiny by virtue of the birth of our Saviour. As you know, the most powerful man in the world at the time of Christ's birth was Caesar Augustus, and during his watch, which incidentally lasted about 40 years, the empire experienced a long period of peace known as the Pax Romana, Rome commemorated this by erecting a great peace monument, part of which is still there to this day. But unlike Caesar, with all his pomp, the heavenly prince of peace came into the world practically unnoticed, and in a very unassuming way. It is also ironic that the saviour of the human race would eventually be disowned by the official dom of his day, St. John in the Gospel says, He came to his own people, but they did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Now when the Holy Family were turned away from the inn at Bethlehem, the Lord's ultimate rejection on the cross was somehow foreshadowed. The angels introduced him to the shepherds as the world's saviour. Scripture says, God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. However, he leaves us free to respond to his invitation or not. And perhaps therein lies a pertinent message for us this evening. The last Pope says that Christ was born in a stable in order to humble human pride. We put Christ at the centre of our Christmas when we are humble enough to accept his message and to live by it. Then the light of the invincible Son of God will shine on us too, both here and hereafter. Now a very peaceful and blessed Christmas to you all. Oh.